Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonniebabeCrochet.com and you've come to video number three of the Colorful Cables Throw. Now, if you are coming to this video for the first time and you haven't seen videos number one and number two of this project, please check below in the video description and I will have those links available to you for you so that you can just go ahead and get started with those first before coming back and then join me again with video number three. Those of you who've followed along with those first two videos. I sure hope we're still friends. We have covered a lot of ground already. And the good news is we only have really four more new stitches to cover before we complete this project. In this video number three, we're going to cover three new stitches and we're going to cover about three old friends, you know, three stitches that we've already learned. Okay. In this video, Looking at the blue section here, we're going to learn the woven stitch. We're going to revisit the arrow and the low front ridge rows, which you probably are pretty familiar with now. Uh, we are going to use, we're going to learn how to use the wheat stitch. And we're going to revisit the cable stitch again. And the last new stitch that we're going to learn is called the elongated cable looks just like this. And remember, if you need additional stitch support, look in this description, video description below, and I do have the links for those Aaron Celtic stitches that are stitch videos that you can look at in addition to this video, should you have need. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we do our last stitch, I'm going to be getting my color number nine. And let me show you the number on this. This is color number 235. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. Okay, so if, as I do this last stitch, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a loop for that last single crochet. And I'm going to pull through my new blue color. This is the first time we're using this color. I'm going to go ahead and chain two. Now I get to introduce you to the woven stitch. Um, this is an interesting stitch, um, so I'm going to take it as slowly as I can for the first uh, couple demonstrations. Notice that I do start this row with a chain two. We're going to wrap our hook, and we're going to skip the first stitch, and starting in the second stitch, we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop. Now we're going to pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're halfway through. Wrap the hook, insert in that same place again, pull up a loop. We're not going to wrap this time. We're just going to pull through the two loops already on the hook. This is kind of an odd stitch, but it's really one of my favorites. And what's really nice about it is that it is reversible. So we are going to be working 12 rows. This is the first row. But as you can see, the stitch is a bit wider. And it's going to be worked in every other stitch across. So we're going to skip the next stitch, yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a strand, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the same place again, pull up a loop, and then pull through two. It, it will take your muscle memory just a while to get this going, but once you do, uh, these stitches can can fly just like some of the others. Okay, so now we're going to do this again. Skip the next stitch, yarn over, insert to the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two, and for the second half, yarn over, stick that hook in the same place again, pull up a loop, and then just pull through two loops on the hook. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. So after working this all the way across, your last woven stitch should be worked in that last stitch. And since the single crochet stitch from the previous row was still the same, was 146 stitches, um, and since this woven stitch was worked in every other stitch, you should have a total of 73 woven stitches across. Okay, so now we are going to turn and I will show you how the remaining 11 rows will be worked. We're going to chain two and working in between the woven stitches, that space right there, that is where we're going to work the woven stitches all the way across the row. 
So I'll just show a couple of these to you. And in order to maintain the stitch count, let me show you the end of the row right back here. In order to maintain the stitch count, you're going to work the last woven stitch in the chain two space or the turning chain where you joined right there. So go ahead and work the remaining 11 more rows of the woven stitch. Okay, this is what the sampling looks like after 11 rows of the woven stitch. Now we're gonna work the 12th row. The 12th row is worked slightly differently. This is the row that we use to discontinue the woven stitch. And the way we do this, we're gonna chain one at the beginning of this row. And in between the spaces, between the woven stitches, we're gonna work two single crochets. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Work two single crochets in between each of the stitches. And we're also going to work two single crochets in the turning chain. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. Now, as we work this last single crochet, I'm working in the chain two space. We're gonna bring in the color number three, which is that tan color and so that we can start working the rows after that. So go ahead and do our, our little color chain, change, and then go ahead and chain one. And now the next two rows we're gonna work are gonna be the same two rows that we worked here, the uh, low front ridge row one and two. So go ahead and work those two rows and I'll start you again. Remember we skipped the first stitch and we're just working in the front loop only and we work a slip stitch in the front loop only and then as we come back for the second row we are going to work a single crochet in the remaining loop all the way across. So go ahead and work those two rows of the low front ridge. After finishing rows one and two of the low front ridge. Now it's time for us to work the arrow rows one and two once again. And since that occurred way at the beginning of this project, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick demonstration. Okay, we're gonna start with a chain two. We're going to work a double crochet in the first stitch. And now we're going to prepare to work a treble crochet we're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and working through both loops as you normally would, go ahead and work a treble crochet in that space right there. Now working behind this stitch, we're going to work double crochets in the three stitches that we just skipped. Okay, and that is going to be the repeat all the way across the row. Let me go ahead and work that repeat for you one more time. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, we're going to work a treble crochet, and then working behind that treble crochet, we're gonna work a double crochet in the three stitches that we just skipped. So make sure you're working the treble crochet for the stitch right here. And the stitches behind this treble crochet are the double crochets. Let me do that one more time for you. Okay, I get ready for my treble crochet. Skip three stitches, and these are the stitches that we haven't worked in yet. One, two, three. And in the next stitch, we're gonna work a treble crochet. And then working Behind this treble crochet, we're going to work double crochets in those three stitches that we just skipped. Just like that. So go ahead and work that across the row. At the end of the row, we're just going to double crochet in that last stitch. Go ahead and turn and then we're gonna work the next row, row number two of the arrow, chain two, 
make sure you work a double crochet in that first stitch and then we continue on with the arrow stitch let's go ahead and back up here we're going to skip these three stitches prepare for a treble crochet treble crochet in that next stitch and then working in front of the treble crochet we're going to double crochet in those three skip stitches and we're going to go ahead and work that all the way across the row okay, at the end of this row go ahead and work a double crochet in that last stitch just like so and now we're going to turn and the next row we're going to work is just simply a row of single crochets all the way across so go ahead and chain one and work a single crochet in each stitch across the row now just just to let you know you should have 36 of these arrows across your rows after working row one and two of the arrow stitch after completing this row of single crochets all the way across the row go ahead and give it a chain one and turn and we're going to work another row of single crochets all the way across the row now I'm going to give you another small assignment following this after you complete this row of single crochets all the way across go ahead and work row one and two of the low front ridge um, stitch again and remember as you work that first row you're only working in the front loop and when you work the second row you're working in the remaining loop to work that single crochet it's just like the two rows we just worked here okay now we come to the last stitch of the second row of the low front ridge and before we finish that single crochet we're going to change to color number seven which is the dark darker orange burnt orange color after pulling color number seven through we're going to chain two one two and we are going to turn we're going to work the first stitch working through the top loops and just work a double crochet in that very first stitch okay now we're going to start working the wheat cable and we're going to get ready to work a front post treble crochet we're going to skip the first two posts one two and we're going to work front post treble around the next two stitches now this is the work it's a little bit tricky but it's very doable after working these two stitches we're going to work behind these two stitches and we're going to work front post in these two stitches that we skipped so we come in behind into that hole and we're going to work a front post around that single crochet and it does help like with the other stitches we've done like this okay come into that hole if you put your thumb up into the space it does help you to un to um, use the um, nerve endings and your thumbkin and tall man finger there to to know where to put that hook okay so now we're going to skip the next two stitches one two and we're going to front post treble in the next two stitches one and two just like that now working in front of these two stitches we're going to front post treble in the next two stitches this is actually the same foundation row as we worked for the honeycomb cablings many rows down okay so you've done this before but it's just the way we finish this is what what is different the way we actually do the rows that come after this is what makes this stitch different now we're going to skip the next two stitches one two and we're going to repeat this front post treble in the next two stitches that's one two and working behind these two stitches we're going to work front post treble 
in the two stitches that we skipped. That's one. And the second one is right there. I mean, that is another option. You can always pull this down to find those two stitches as well. That actually might even be easier for some of you. Okay, now we're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and we're going to front post treble in the next two stitches, one, and two. Now working in front of these last two stitches, we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped. Okay, and it's just like that. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. Okay, after working that all the way across, we're going to work a double crochet in that last stitch. And this is what you should have. It's the same as row one of the honeycomb that we completed earlier in this project. Okay, now we're going to turn and with the back side facing us, we're going to work row two exactly like we did for the honeycomb. In fact, row one and two of the honeycomb is the same as the wheat cable. So to begin row two, we're going to chain two. We're going to work a double crochet in that first double crochet. This is just going to help to keep the stitch count accurate as we go along. And we are just going to work back post double crochets in each stitch across. Just like we did on row two of the honeycomb cable. So go ahead and work those back post double crochets all the way across the row. After working those back post double crochets all the way across, go ahead and work a double crochet in the last double crochet of the row. Okay, now we're going to turn and I will show you what we have here. So this is what each um, completion of row one and two will look like. I'm going to start row three, but it's going to be a repeat of row number one. So and I'll go ahead and start row three, which is the first repeat of row number one. We're going to work a double crochet in that first stitch. I'll go ahead and put this down so the camera doesn't focus back there. And then we go to our skip two stitches and then work front post treble crochets in the next two stitches. And just like we did in row one, working behind the first two stitches, we're going to work back post, I'm sorry, front post treble crochets in those two stitches that we just skipped. And remember, we come in through the hole on that. If you want to even pull these stitches down, you can see those stitches that we are wrapping the, the front post troubles around. Then we skip the next two stitches and front post treble in the next two stitches. Now working in front of these two stitches, we work front post troubles in the two stitches that we just skipped. So it comes out looking like this. Notice that each cable is going to be turning outward. And that's the way each one is going to be successively, just turning, kind of, you know, turning outward like that. It's a very visual pattern. If you don't do it the right way, you'll know immediately. So just to be sure that you understand that, let me give you one more demonstration of this wheat cabling. Skip the next two stitches. Front post treble in the next two stitches. Now we're going to work behind these two stitches, come in through the hole here, and we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we skipped. Another thing we could do, we could pull these down so that you can see where you're working. And I'm going to come back into the hole, and that's the next stitch that I want. Once I've identified it, it's a lot easier to, to work that up. Now we skip the next two stitches, front post treble 
and those two working in front of these two stitches. We're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped. Just like that. So we're going to work that all the way across and then come back the other direction. We'll be working again the back post double crochets for that repeat of row number two. So for this wheat cable, we're going to work rows one and two, and then we're going to repeat them three more times. Repeat rows one and two three more times. I went ahead and started the first repeat. So we should have a total of four sets of rows one and two when we're finished with this section. Okay, these back post double crochet brings us to the last stitch, which is that double crochet. Go ahead and do part of that double crochet, but before you finish it, make sure you change to the next color. This is, I believe, color number four. Let me double check here. That's right, color number four, if you're following my color system. And so go ahead and bring that through. And we can go ahead and trim this color right here. We have a nice generous strand so that we can hide it effectively. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn. Now we're going to do a familiar, familiar stitch that you should know quite well at this point. We're going to be doing the low front ridge. And again, I'll start you off. Skip that first stitch. And we're just working in the front loop only. We're going to work slip stitches all the way across the row. And then at the end of the row, we will chain one turn. And then as we work the following row, we're just going to work single crochets in the remaining loop right here. And I want you to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to follow that with a cable stitch, but I'll give you a short refresher on that. So I'll see you after we finish these two rows of the low front ridge. Okay, this is what you should have after working row one and two of the low front ridge. Now we're ready to work the cable rows one and two. Go ahead and start with a chain one. And we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. I'm just going to do a short little um, review. We're going to chain three, skip two stitches single crochet in that third stitch and this is where we turn everything to the opposite side and we work in those chains we single crochet one single crochet in each chain and then we work a slip stitch in that first single crochet and we turn and then you can bring the yarn around this way so it's in the back and then we single crochet in the two stitches that we skipped and that's our first cable this cable stitch and we'll go ahead and do one more for you chain three skip two stitches one two and then we work a single crochet in that next stitch now we turn our work to work in those chains one single crochet in each of the three chains. And then slip stitch in that single crochet. And now we're going to bring the yarn around to the back and working in those two stitches that we just skipped. If you need to pull this cable down, you can. We single crochet in each of those stitches that we skipped. So go ahead and work this all the way across the row. After working this all the way across and after you've worked those two single crochets behind the cable, go ahead and work another single crochet where that last cable was anchored just like that. Okay, now we're going to work row two of the cable stitch. We're going to chain one single crochet in that first stitch. Now, as you recall, we're going to work three 
single crochets be behind each of these cable stitches just like this. Two single crochets in that first single crochet that's directly behind the cable and then one in the next space. Now these have been used so you know you have to um, share them with the stitches that were worked in the previous row. So we work two single crochets and then pull this cable back a little bit and put one there. Two and then behind the next and then one all the way across so that you have three single crochets behind each cable. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. When you get all the way across to the end of the row, after you work two single crochets and then one, then just work one single crochet in the turning chain right there. And then we're going to turn and then we're going to repeat the low front ridge rows one and two on the other side of the cable, just like we did earlier in the project. So go ahead and work the single crochets the single crochets behind the cables, that's row two of the cable, row two of the cable stitch, and then work rows one and two of the low front ridge one more time. Now before we finish that last stitch of the row, we're going to change back to color number five, which is the light peach if you're following my color pattern. And let's go ahead and make a chain there. Actually, go ahead and make two chains and we're going to turn. Now, we're going to be working what I like to call the elongated cable for this next section. Go ahead and start with a half double crochet in the first stitch, just like that. Oh, let's go ahead and trim the blue yarn while we can. And make sure you leave a nice, you know, a nice generous strand there so that we can weave it in in the end. Alright, so now we have the half double crochet in the first stitch. Now the next three stitches we're going to work front post double crochets. That's two, and three. Now we're going to work a half double crochet in the next stitch and that half double crochet is actually worked through the top loops not around the stitch like these uh, front post double crochets and that's going to be a repeat all the way across. Now the trick to this is making sure that we don't double dip and use the same stitch twice which would be easy to do so you're going to need to be careful about that. So this is the repeat one more time is three front post double crochets and then we follow that by a half double crochet worked through the top two stitches. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. After working that repeat of the three front post double crochets and then half double crochet all the way across you should have one more stitch and go ahead and work another half double crochet in that. Okay, now we're ready to turn. And let me just explain that we are setting up the foundation for these cables that we're going to cross in two rows. So we need to work one more row with the back side facing. This is row two of the elongated cable. We're going to chain two and we're going to work half double crochets in those first stitches one and then one in the next and now where we worked the front post stitches we're going to work back post so where the repeat is going to be three back post double crochets one two and three and then we work a half double crochet working through the top loops of the half double crochet. Let's do that again. Three back post double crochets. And then working through the top loops we're going to work a half double crochet. And that's going to be our repeat all the way across and this is what it looks like 
from the front side. See, you can see where these half double crochets are kind of recessed and that's going to help add stitch definition to our large elongated cable. So go ahead and finish out that row. Row number two of the elongated cable ends by working a half double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, now we're ready to turn. Okay, once we turn and now we are working with the front side facing and this is what you should have all the way across the row. Now we're ready to begin row number three and this is the row where we cross the cables. Okay, we're going to chain two. We're going to half double in that first stitch. Now we're going to skip one, two, three stitches. These would be the, the front post stitches. And we're going to half double crochet in that next half double crochet. After that, we are going to front post treble in each of the next three stitches. Okay, so that's one. two, and three. So once we do that, we're going to be working in front of the last four stitches. That would be the half double crochet in those three front post trebles. We're going to run, work front post trebles in these three stitches, starting with this stitch, then this one, and then this one. Okay, so that's one. two, and three, right here. After that, we work a half double crochet in the next half double crochet. And this is what we should have once we've crossed those cables. I'll do this for you one more time. Okay, so we're going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and we half double crochet in that next stitch. And now we are going to front post treble crochet. This is the only time that we use trebles in this particular stitch is when we cross these cable rows. Let's try that one again. That's one. two, and three. Now working in front of the last four stitches that we just worked, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. It is kind of a reach. Okay. That's one, two, and three. And then we work a half double crochet in the next half double crochet. Let's see if I can show that to you. And so that's what you should have. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. After working these all the way across, we're going to work half double crochets in the last two stitches. Just like that. Row number four on the elongated cable, we're going to chain two. We're going to work half double crochets in the first two stitches, worked in through the top loops. Now we're going to be working back post double crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, And three. Now we come to the part where the cables were crossed. You can see see that right there. There's a little space. So go ahead and work a half double crochet right in between that last stitch and the next stitch. And then three more back post double crochets. It's one, two, and three. Now we're going to skip 
this half double crochet, but we're going to work a half double crochet in this stitch. And just for those of you who are big into stitch counting, the stitch count is still going to remain the same because you see we added this half double crochet and then we skipped this half double crochet right down here of the previous row. I'm going to go ahead and I'll work one more repeat of this. We work three back post double crochets. That's two and three. And then in between where the cables are crossed, we're going to work a half double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch. And then after that, we're going to work three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three. We're going to skip this half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet in the next half double crochet, just like that. And this is what it looks like from the back side, which doesn't look like much, I know. But from the front side, this is what it looks like. So it's starting to take shape. So go ahead and finish row four all the way across. Row four ends with a half double crochet in that last half double crochet of the row. Okay, so we're going to turn. Look how this cable is coming. This is really nice. All right, so now we're ready to begin row five, which is actually a repeat of row number one. So I'm going to chain two, half double crochet in the first half double crochet. And just like we did in row number one, we're going to front post double crochet in the first, or actually the next three stitches. One, two, and three, just like that. And then we're going to half double crochet in that half double crochet right through the top loops. And then front post double crochet in the next three stitches. And then followed again by a half double crochet. I'm just going to pause there and I'm going to give you a short assignment. So that is going to be row number five, which again is a repeat of row number one, which is the three front post doubles, half double crochet work through the top loops, and then three front post double, and then half double crochet worked through the top two loops. At the end of this row, work a half double crochet in the last two stitches, which are also half double crochets. Again, worked in through the top loops. Okay, so now you get a better idea. This really is looking more like a cable. So let's go ahead and turn. And for row number six, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's right. We're going to chain two, half double crochet in the first two stitches. And this is very much like row number two of this stitch that we accomplished earlier. We're going to work back post double crochets in the next three stitches. Okay, after that we're going to work a half double crochet through the top loops of that half double crochet. And then back post double crochets in the next three stitches. And let's see, one, two, three, and then a half double crochet after that. And that is the repeat all the way across row six. So let's go ahead and take a look at that from the front side facing. You can see that this is getting larger. Okay, so what we're going to do we're going to complete this row, row number six, which is the back post double crochets. And we're going to do that all the way across the row. And when you get to the very last stitch, you're going to work one half double crochet in that last stitch. So just remember that there's one half double crochet on one end of these rows and then two um, on the other side. So we started with two half double crochets. So now I want to just state the assignment. We're going to complete this row number six worked with the backside facing. And then after we complete that, 
we're going to work another row five, which is using the front post double crochets and a half doubles. And then we're going to repeat row six again, which will have the back side facing and we will work the back post double crochets. Just make sure that you work two half doubles where you see two on the end and we have one on the end, just work one. So after working eight rows of the elongated cable, this is what you should have. Now it's time for us to repeat row three again, which is the row where we cross the cables. So we're going to repeat rows three and then rows four rows five and rows six. One more time. I will go ahead and start you off on row three, which again is the crossing of this cable, and then you'll just repeat rows three, four, five, and six. And if you need stitch support for this, simply back up to the time mark that I'm going to have right across the bottom there, and you can review that. But I'll go ahead and give you a start here. We're going to chain two. I'll show you how to cross that first cable. We start with working a half double crochet in that first stitch. Now we're going to skip the next three stitches, half double in the next stitch. We're going to work front post treble crochets in the next three stitches. And working in front of these last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped right here. That's one, two, and three. And after that, we work a half double crochet in the half double crochet again working through those top loops. So go ahead and let's show that to you. There we go. So, we can, so after repeating rows three, four, and five for rows nine, ten, and eleven, this is what you should have for your cable. Now we have one more row to do and this is going to be just a simple row of single crochet all the way across. So we're going to just chain one and just working through both loops through the top, work single crochets all the way across the row. Now we're ready to work that last single crochet of the row. Go ahead and bring that loop up and we're going to complete it with our next color, which is the number two color, the sage green. So we'll go ahead and do that and we're going to give it a chain, just a chain one and turn. Now we are ready to, well first of all let's just go ahead and take a look at this section. There we go. Looks really nice. Now let me give you a little assignment here. We are going to rework, or actually work again the low front ridge two rows, the cable two rows, and the low front ridge again. And we're going to work it right on the other side of this elongated cable right up at the top here. And um, so go ahead and work those next six rows. If you need stitch support for these six rows, just go ahead and look at the bottom of the video. I'll have a time mark where you can back up and take a look at that only if you need the stitch support. Well, I hope you enjoyed video number three. We only have one more video to go and you've only got really one new stitch that I will teach you in that video number four, plus how to finish with the perimeter rounds. So we'll see you in video number four. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe and the thumbs up and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video coming your way. God bless. Bye.